Hey there guys, what's up? We're going to be playing a game called War Thunder, and uh, this game is just like uh, World of War Planes, but better, only because the company that's behind it has uh, made quite a few previous uh, aircraft games. So, obviously, if you made aircraft games before, you're going to be pretty damn good at it. I'm playing sort of domination map, we've got you land at the airfield, you capture the airfield, the enemy team loses points, or you could just go a full assault and just take out all the enemy planes. I am in, I can't remember what this plane was called, but this is one of the British planes you can get, it's called a reserve, they call them reserve because they are the, uh, they're the one you start off with, they're the plane that you get like two or three planes you start off with in each uh, nation, there's the Russians, Americans, Chinese, the Jap Japanese, sorry, Germans, and the British. There, there is there is, <laughs> there is quite a few uh, planes at the moment. More than, uh, I think there is more than World of War planes. I haven't played much of World of War planes actually. I haven't, don't really care for that. It's too hard to control with the mouse and keyboard. But this, so easy. It's so much easier than World of War planes. I will turn. Go, go, go. Oh, he's dead already. I want. I might do a let's play. I've... I... The one thing that annoyed me is I was looking for a let's play and I couldn't find any English let's plays. There was one, maybe two, but there weren't. There wasn't any commentary on it at all, which was rather annoying because you know you maybe you just come for the gameplay, maybe you don't. It's your choice, but you know. It is entirely up to you. Ooh. No, I'm playing arcade because if I tried to play realism, I would suck really badly. <coughs> In arcade, it's very, very forgiving on any stretch. Being shot already. You see the you see the middle left there. It tells you what what part of your plane's damaged. And I have one guy against. Fuck, I'm going down. Oh god. Here we go. Pro skills. Oh, look at that. What a beast. And, uh, yeah, there was the name right I was flying. I fly the Fury. And, uh, you just saw that. Explosions. This is on low settings because I can't record any higher than that because I have a shocking computer, but, you know, better than nothing. And it's. It is laid exactly out, except the currency, instead of called credits, it's called lions. And the premium gold, instead of calling it gold, they call it eagles. It's really weird, very weird, but still very good. They give you, they give you 50 at the start, and then you can, you do. There's three tutorials at the moment. This is only a beta test, by the way. It's an open, open beta, super open beta, which is great. And uh, I've been, I've been playing all today. Today I just flicked it on. I thought, you know what, sit down, and play loads of it, and. It differs. Sometimes you can have a bad game. Like I've had, I've had quite a few bad games actually in this. I've, I've been playing lots of the American ones. Of course, you always want to, you want the American ones. And I'll show you the tech trees in uh, in another episode. I'll show you my shocking garage since I haven't really unlocked a lot. But there is quite a few planes. There's as you go higher up the tiers, some of the some of the nations have jets. The Americans have a saber. The Russians have a Yag 6, I think, something like that. And the British have the Meteor, but the Meteor, obviously, the Sabre, the Meteor, all of these were uh, uh, after the war, after 1945. But, you know, you still. Obviously, none of these planes like this, the biplanes, would ever get into a fight with the. Uh, <coughs> with the jets, unless you, unless you platoon up with a jet. Yes, you can platoon up. But platooning up with more than three people, I think, isn't isn't in yet, and he just hit the floor. There's there's a few bugs in this, you know. It's beta test, which you expect. But there's the one. I think there's a map. It's like a it's like a Japanese rural mountainous map, something like that. And uh, you fly. You think you're flying through trees, but all of a sudden a tree pops out of nowhere. I don't know whether this is in just just because on you know you got your settings set to low. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, your setting set to low. That could that could be the issue, you know. You got your setting set to low, you know, it doesn't render fast enough until you smack into it. But I'll I'll figure that out. 
Ah, uh, oh, god damn it. Trying to play and talk is so hard. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, son of a bitch. I will win it anyway, even though I'm not doing anything for my team. Ow, 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 I'm dead. Killed my person straight off the bat. Many things can happen. You can get your wing shot off, or you get your character killed, or so much random shizzle can happen. Oh, come on. Loading times differ. I don't know whether it would be better on a higher computer, but still, it still takes a while to load you in. I must be just trying to find your spawn point. As you can see, you have uh, on the map, it says where the bombers spawn. Bombers always spawn higher. The fighters spawn around 1,400 altitude and the bombers spawn at 3,000 altitude. <coughs> That's obvious because, well, they're bombers, so they need to be high in the sky to destroy the targets. But on this, there's like no targets, so it's pointless. I think there's a couple of tanks around that area there. And... Uh, over there, and you, your tanks, the tanks on the ground fight each other, like, them tanks will shoot them, and there, there. and you have boats as well, apparently. <coughs> Must be landing craft, landing craft, I'm guessing, yeah, fuck it, landing craft, go. No one over A, oh, there is someone at A. Right, we are gonna go and join the fight again. Uh, weird, weird layout at the moment, it's in beta, so it's not very polished, so, I don't know what that's about. The uh, caution sign. It'd be nice if they could say the tears of the, the planes would be just great. Parachute means they've lost all of their, uh, every single one of their um, planes, and you know they could they're just spectating. I don't know why you'd watch this game once you've lost all your planes, because you can just back out and then jump straight in with the same uh, with the same set of planes. Which is very different to World of, World of Tanks and World of Planes, you know. Your plane is stuck to that, that game. But on this, you just you can just quit and then go straight into another game. Kind of unfair, since, you know, but it just, it just speeds up the process, you know. You just want to level that one plane and you just can't. This game is coming to an end. Got no kills and two deaths, like a fucking pro. Boom, 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 boom. You have ammo, like, you have an overheat mark here. You see the middle reticle uh, as it gets red and red and red. And there you go. Because <coughs> it's arcade, you don't need to resupply. And there you go, just to get my wing. Great. Yeah, buddy. Thank you for killing me. The amount of times I've ran into people. Ah. Oh, People get so greedy for kills as well on this sometimes. Uh, I had one guy, I had, a, I had a guy like 20 meters away from me, I was spraying into him, and he came over the top of me, and then flew straight into the, the enemy guy, because he was coming in too fast. And then you get people that shoot, they'll shoot through you just to get to the enemy player. It's so frustrating. Reduce speed, reduce speed. I don't know why I need to reduce speed. I wonder whether my plane will break. Oh, I can't even go that fast anymore. It's not very streamlined, this plane, at all. I think we win, we win. Yeah, boy. There you go. We win, oh, oh, we win, oh. Yep, War Thunder, that is exactly what it's called. It's made by Gaijin Entertainment, they made IL-2 Wings of Prey. So, and this, I think, this is based off the IL-2 Wings of Prey uh, engine, I'm sure it is. Here you go, you have this uh, beautiful layer, told you. Aircraft surface units destroyed, you get like tanks and anti-air and uh, artillery and stuff like that. Hits, assists, base caps, landings, takeoffs, enemy spotted, blah blah blah. Premium. You can't. You have the thing called premium. I'll show you. Now. There you go. You have your golden eagles, which is the premium currency, which you buy. Basically, buy. You pay money for that. Then you have your silver lions, which is your credits. 
uh, medals and all the number of aircraft you've got. And I have 17 hours left on the premium account because I decided to buy it. There you go. Let's close that. Uh, yeah, this is why I've only got four because I haven't played any of the British yet. But I went straight to the Americans and got myself a nice bomber. PBY5 Catalina! It's beast. It's got uh, 100 bombs. 1,000. 1,000 it bombs, which is great. It's just pounding the enemy. It takes about a minute to reload all them. Obviously, it's arcade. You don't have to go back to the airfield to reload everything. But you can. You land on the airfield with a broken aircraft and you get 1,000 XP. So, you know, you could keep landing at the airfield, get loads of XP. Sorted. Alright guys, uh, I'll speak to you later. I'll put my... Uh, please subscribe for more War Thunder. And uh, see you later.